Mavi, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. <laughs> Better not get too close. He's mine. Nice to see you. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. 
So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. It's locked. No way in. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Got that one off! It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Skylight. Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Five and each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton.
You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Shit. <laughs> Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, 
but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Hey, Krista. Yeah? I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with her... That is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. <sighs> already cleaned out. No tape inside. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us, and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Vernon, Krista. Come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, 
I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Logan, this must have been his locker. Another tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. 
Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Jesus! Shit! Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! <laughs> It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. 
It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Look! It's all right, Claire. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Yeah. 
Come on, let's go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -hmm. uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time, but I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that.
Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? 
She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, but I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right, if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Are you all right? Where are you? Ver 
turn in, you son of a bitch! Cody? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. <laughs> 